What's going on everybody? It's your boy STL Warzone. Today we're going to be going over Resident Evil 4, the chainsaw demo. I played through quite a few times today and I happen to notice a few things that I would like to share with everybody. So let's check it out. First things before anything, as soon as you get into the game, if you instantly turn around, you can actually go through these bushes which will lead you to the truck that Leon drove in town in. It's not big of a secret, but if you're like me, you probably ran straight forward as soon as you started the game and you didn't turn around and come look. If you did, you would have found the truck. Anyway, next we'll head inside the cabin. Once we get inside the cabin, we'll find a friend and a badge on the floor. His name is Mario. We don't know who this is. Well, after Leon gets attacked and we head, do a little bit and head down to the basement, we're searching around and Leon finds a cop and a radio on the floor. This cop is in fact the same cop that we found in the badge upstairs, Mr. Mario himself. So after all that, Leon goes to a room and he finds a board over here with a picture of Ashley on it. Now it doesn't seem interesting at first, but when you look at the picture, and then we call up Hanukkah, I happen to notice something kind of strange. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My okay, if you didn't notice, right here is the zoomed in picture. This is actually a picture of Ashley from RE40. AKA the original picture that Leon presented to the first villager in the original game. But we're not done yet. We still have more to show. Just like this. Here's a fun easter egg from the original. If you go through the typewriter room, once you get outside where it's daytime, you make a right turn, you're going to find a well over here. This well is in fact the same well from the original game that would have the dirty pendant. If you didn't shut the lid or you would shoot the stick, it would break. And you would shoot the treasure and you would get the treasure. I just found it pretty interesting they incorporated it into the remake even though there's no treasure there. Did you know Leon's knife actually has four phases of damage that you can see inside your inventory? Check it out. This is phase one with no damage dealt to the knife. After about two hits you can start to see a little wear and tear, a little cracks, a little hole in it. Then after about another knife or another defend, it goes down to the third stage. The tip breaks off, a few chips out of it, and then your final stage, it breaks in half and it snaps and you got holes. It's just a really cool detail. Once we make our way into the village, you can get into this house where you'll find a dresser that requires a key to unlock. Currently not in the demo. So another fun find in the village was actually a partner spot where we would toss a partner up to stairs to the second floor of this building right here. Whether that's going to be Ashley or maybe Luis, that'd be pretty cool. I'm sure there's some treasure or something up there. I know we'll be coming back to the village, but it's still pretty cool to know it's here. interesting enough to find one of the only treasures if you go into the building that Leon borders himself up and you make your way upstairs in this house you're gonna go where the shotgun is and jump out the window to your right once you get outside and you're standing on the roof you'll actually found a pouch of money holding a thousand bucks in the original RE4 this actually used to be a spinal interesting that it's still here so I happen to notice in this game there's two paths that may or may not be a new route in the game. There is these wells here. And you can see there's one here. It's got a ladder that leads down. And then on the left side of the church there's also a second one. Seems like maybe we could be inside of a tunnel and climb back out to the village. Or maybe climb down from the village into a tunnel. If you try to proceed the game and head to the next area, you'll automatically trigger the chainsaw guy no matter what as soon as you get to the door. This is one of three ways to make him spawn. Now for a chainsaw guy, this man is tough. But even as tough as he is, he is possible to be killed. And I have killed them, and when you do kill them, it'll reward you with a big 5,000 smackaroos. Oh, 
Fun fact, if you're like me, you know the binocular scene when the officer gets burnt to death. Uh, well, you, you kind of wonder if you could change the story and maybe save him, right? I mean, you don't have to look through the binoculars. Well, unfortunately, when you try, the guy who lights him on fire is actually invincible until he finishes the animation of lighting him on fire. So unfortunately, no, he cannot be saved. It is what it is. After the cutscene when Leon's being attacked inside the house, if you actually wait around for about 5 to 10 seconds, the chainsaw guy will actually cut the board through the door and kick the door open. And if you try to climb the tower, go up the ladder you're gonna find money on the floor up top but unlike the original this one yeah kind of well see for yourself yep Leon falls to the floor so one hidden feature that I thought was really cool that the game didn't tell us about is when Leon aims his guns he aims straight but if you aim when you're close to an enemy he'll turn his gun sideways like he's some kind of gangster or something. I don't know if it makes it any better but it's pretty cool. Another feature like this is when they throw projectiles at you if you crouch you can actually dodge the projectiles. That's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll catch everybody in the next one.